kind of boring, isn't it? If you're a child now. In the Netherlands, some people came with the idea to put little teddy bears behind the windows. So when children go for a little walk with their parents, they've got something to do. <laughs> Bear hunt. I want to do that. There we go. Live around here. There it is. Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm starting a bear hunt today. In this time of the coronavirus, some people are really creative and bring some positivity. And in the Netherlands, if people started to put their teddy bears behind the windows. So if children go for a little walk with their parents, they can look for bears. Because, well, schools are closed, children can't play football, they can't do their music lessons. For most children, they can't really do much, they get bored. So now they can hunt for teddy bears. I just put some teddy bears behind the window. I got these from the attic. They're back now, my teddy bears. I once won these on a fun fair, you know, with, uh, with those things. I thought I'd go for a, for a walk today, a little walk. Schoonhoven and look for bears. You're not children, well, maybe some of you still. I maybe you like to go with me on a bear hunt. We're going on bear hunt. There's nothing really in the town center, the old town. Only my bear now. So I have to go a little bit outside to the first bear. I already see some bears, but they're not actually on the website. But here's one, and the window before that. Maybe they're always there, I don't know. <laughs> oh, here's another bear. Bears everywhere. And I just actually uh, saw my violin teacher. He was in the van, talked a little bit to him. Yeah, he stopped giving lessons. His mother lives with him, and she's 88 years old. Well, yeah, it's not good to have students in the house. Oh, there's more bears here. Paddington bear. Ja, dat ja. Uh, dat uh, dat heeft uh, toevallig mijn vrouw mijn uh, vrouw op de boot gekocht uh, naar uh, Engeland uh, en uh, we hebben hard gezocht en uiteindelijk uh, heeft het uh, vanochtend uh, voor de ramen gezet. Ik vind het wel een leuke actie dus. Ik vind het wel een leuke actie en uh, je houdt de mensen en de kinderen bezig, hè, zodat ze nog wat uh, wat kunnen doen. Dus ja, uh, in deze tijd. Uh, Iedereen aanpassen en uh, hopen dat het zo snel mogelijk over is. <laughs> He's a, a fireman. I interviewed him a few weeks ago. I didn't even know he lived here. Uh, and he worked on a school. So not much work now. And he already put a bear up, so it's nice. It was actually a fire a few days ago. And I knew he was he was one of you know how he was there because uh, he always goes on the bike. To the to the fire brigade. Fire brigade. Ik had eerst een schildpadje, had ik had geen beertje, had ik een kaartje erom gedaan. Um, ik heet Beer. En toen kwam er een heel klein kindje met een moeder en die zei uh, dat is geen Beer, want die kon het natuurlijk niet lezen. Ja. Yeah. En toen hoorde ik die moeder zeggen: nee, maar hij heet Beer. Oh, dan mag het ook wel. Dat had hij ook zo schattig. Ja. Yeah. Dus toen, ik was een beertje aan het haken. Ik vond het bijna jammer om het schildpadje weer weg te halen. <laughs> Die was te speciaal. Oh, dus. wat leuk. Ja. Ja. Geen beer. Ik kan geen beer vinden. Oké, okay. nou ga ik kijken. Doei. I haven't talked to anyone really in the last few weeks. To any people like besides my boyfriend. So it's kind of interesting that now I start talking to people because I'm looking for the bears and they see me walking around with a camera so uh, and they all know I'm looking for the bears uh, so it's it's nice to talk to some people now and just about basic things not about the corona but about uh, bears she said that in this street there's a lot of bears <laughs> No bear, but a cat. Hi, cat. Another cat. No bears. 
I'm still looking for the bear uh, on the map because that must be a very special bear because apparently there's bears everywhere people just don't put it on the website which makes it more fun I guess you don't know where they are I don't think I ever walked in the streets uh, apparently there's an artist here and yeah some children playing there they asked me if I was uh, <laughs> for the NOS journal the, the news said no I'm here for YouTube I didn't even know there's these really rundown houses here I start to get to know my own area much better since this coronavirus is on I had so many trips planned this with this this week all in the Netherlands but now I can just see my own area the construction still goes on Duckies looking for bears. Maybe it's weird to say this, but uh, maybe other people feel the same. But since there's the coronavirus and all my assignments are cancelled or postponed, I uh, oh, another bear. <laughs> I feel less stressed, way less stressed. Well, you know, I still want to finish some travel stories for when things maybe get back to normal but this whole feeling I have every day that I'm in a rush that I have to do this and this my to-do list, emails and pictures, write stories, to edit my photos it's suddenly all gone I was stressed to start uh, I guess I really think now the most important thing is that we're healthy and that we're okay all the other things are just not so important no, it gives me a kind of more relaxed feeling. I know I'm stupid, maybe, but okay. Bears, bears. I also really love making these YouTube videos as well because, I mean, I look different now to to the place I live. I look better, and I really love the idea that I film and edit everything in one day, and then it's done. Well, travel stories makes you know can take days, so I like this. Still looking for that bear on the map. Okay, I found the place. It's here, but there's all you know there are all people sitting at the dining table, so it's a bit weird to <laughs> film their window now. Okay, go home. <laughs> really kept our distance so I notice now that almost everyone is taking this very serious but what do you think of the bear thing I uh, I think it's 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 great it's, well that's what I think and <laughs> it's bring some positivity in this hard time and you know we have to cope with this situation and if we're all going to be depressed and cry that's not going to help but um, just so yeah we have to take our distance and stay inside as much as we can a lot of you guys have to even stay inside all the time but uh hopefully we find some creative ways of you know get some positivity in as well because a lot of people do have good hearts and i think with this little bear thing you can see that so i liked it thank you all for watching and please you know leave comments below what do you think uh do you like this bear bear thing <laughs> um would you maybe like to have it in your own country and i'll see you tomorrow if you like to subscribe you can do that below and it would be great if you can like this video bye bye see you tomorrow
Now, some of you might think, hey, but wait a minute, it's a lockdown, you have to stay inside. Yes, well, I explained before that in the Netherlands, you're still allowed to go outside. The government says, well, if you want to, you know, get some, get some fresh air once a day, that's, that's okay. It's also healthy, keeps us fit. Just take your distance. 